Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, you're with Nicole, and if you're new here, I share lots of delicious homestyle recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. Today we're going to be making something that is super delicious. We are going to be making lemon curd. <laughs> yes, lemon curd. Can't wait to share this recipe with you. It's really, really got a bit of like sharpness, tanginess, sweetness. It's all those beautiful things that you want and it's perfect if you want something like a bit of an alternative to um, something like scones and jam, add this. You can also put it on toast or in cakes and fillings as well. So let's get to it. Now you can make lemon curd the traditional way. Today I'm going to add a little secret spice to it that's just going to make it pop a little bit more and that is nutmeg. So I mean there's so many beautiful different spices that go with lemon. This one I think is really nice and balances it out. If you want a little bit sweeter you could go for something like um, vanilla. I know that's not a spice but you could add some extra vanilla to it or if you want to make it more savory you can add things as well like ginger or rosemary. There's tons of different things that go with lemon and will make it beautiful. But today, this is just a really nice staple lemon curd recipe. Now, if you've ever made lemon curd before, you'll know that it can be a little bit temperamental at times and you do have to watch it just because we've got heat and we've got eggs and we don't want to end up with scrambled eggs. Today, I am going to be using my Thermocook Pro today here from Fruity. Can't wait to try this recipe in it. Normally, I would do it on the stove top and you can do it that way as well. Um, so it's pretty much just standing there and whisking for a little while, but I'm gonna let this do the job today. So let me show you what you are gonna need. I have two large lemons, some butter, some eggs. This is a juicer here. Got some nutmeg and some caster sugar. As always, I will leave all of the ingredients in the description box below for you. And for the full recipe to download and print for free, head to lebonbaker.com. With this recipe, um, we can literally add all of the ingredients into our Thermocook Pro here, and we're gonna give it a bit of a whiz. So we don't need the stirring attachment. You will need this attachment in a minute, but for now, you can go ahead and add in the different bits and bobs, and then we're going to juice. We'll, we're gonna zest these lemons first, and then we'll juice them, add it in, and then give it a waz. My husband just said, what is a waz? Waz, whiz, Pfft, same thing. Whiz. So we're gonna drop them like it's hot. Eggs are in, in goes the sugar. Look how creamy this butter is. Yum. You know you're a baker when you get excited about room temp butter. Mmm, it smells so good. So we're just gonna do a little pinch of nutmeg. One for good luck. So as you can see, I put in a very small amount of nutmeg. We don't want it to overpower the lemon, we just want it to complement it. Grab your grater or your zester, and we are going to get this beautiful mm, lemon peel zested up and add it to our mix there. Zesting by hand like this reminds me of when I used to work in the bakery. Sometimes um, if you've done all of your cakes or whatever, you'd be on zesting and you literally have like bags and bags of lemons and limes and oranges to zest by hand. It could take a while. This guy is pretty much done. So with the zesting, you just wanna grate it down so you take off that first layer of that lemon. So you're left with Still some of the skin here, but that beautiful lemon layer is gone. One down, one to go. For my second lemon, I picked a different lemon. The other one was just a little bit too soft um, and it didn't look like it was gonna grate very well. So I picked the winner right here. Beautiful. Cool, so let's see how much zest we got. Ooh, decent amount. And there'll be more in here, so get that all out. Yum, smells so fresh. So this can go now into our mix. Okay, 
And last but not least, we just need that juice. So cut them in half and get to work. Mmm, it's making my mouth water. Yum. Look at all this beautiful juice. Pouring it in. Oh, yum. I think I have lemon zest in my hair too. Oh well. These lemons are so juicy. They're so beautiful. Okay, awesome. Oh, a couple of seeds, get them out. Don't want them in a lemon curd. Next. So there you go, pretty easy. Just a little bit of elbow grease with your zesting and your juicing. But now it's time for the magic to happen. So I'm gonna get this on. I'm gonna leave our stirring attachment for the minute here. We just have our blade in there at the moment. I'm gonna get this on, lock it in. Get this bad girl turned on. Okay, so I am going to Turn it on to speed seven for seven. Actually, I'm gonna go 10 seconds. Here we go. Awesome. So now we need to get that stirring attachment in. So grab your stirring attachment and it's literally just placing it on top of the blade and you're gonna hear a little lock or like a click and that means it's in place. Stirring attachment in, lid back on, lock it into place. And now we're gonna cook this. So I'm gonna turn it on to 80 degrees Celsius, speed three, and we're gonna do it for 15 minutes. So this is where one of these machines Kitchen, kitchen helpers comes in handy because this is where you'd have to stand there and hand whisk it yourself. Whereas now I can just turn this on, leave it and come back to it. And it should technically <laughs> be ready to go. Just before I turn it on, I am just gonna scrape down the sides here really quick, really quickly, get all of those ingredients in the one spot so that they're near that stirring attachment tool not just up the sides. Okay, we're ready to go. I'm gonna turn it on. Good luck, little guy. So I've just found myself a little jar here and a little pot that we can put this in. I'm pretty excited to see how it's come out. So let's get this off. And just be careful because the, the metal here, the stainless steel part will be hot. So don't touch that. Oh. Ooh, see the steam? Oh my gosh, that nutmeg. Mm. Holy moly. Lemon and nutmeg smell like heaven together. I'm just gonna do a quick little taste test because it looks too good not to. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful lemon curd. Mmm. Nice and hot. Oh, mm, got like a nice zing to it. As I said before, lemon curd is like that incredible balance of sharp and sweet and zangy. It's just amazing. Now I need to get some put aside, otherwise I'm gonna eat it all just now. <laughs> so I'm gonna pour some in a jar and some in my little pot here cause I'm gonna have some on an English muffin. The color is just so beautiful. Oop, that's very full. I got really excited. Okay, so I've got some in my jar here ready to go, some in the little pot which is gonna get devoured today. So I'm gonna have an English muffin now and spread that on top. As I said, this curd is beautiful as a spread, as a little topping or an inclusion if you wanna have it in cakes, cupcakes, that kind of thing as well. So curds have many different purposes. This one is super delicious and we have that secret ingredient of nutmeg, which is incredible. You won't regret it, make this recipe. So if you're gonna do it by hand, you literally just have to, while this was stirring on that low heat, you just have to stand it at the stove top and whisk it and wait to, to, until it comes to a similar texture. So luckily today I had my Thermo Cook Pro here 
as my handy assistant. If you are looking to purchase one of those, I have a link in my description box with a discount code for you, so check it out. Thanks so much for being here today. I hope that you love this recipe and get to make it a sap. And if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell as well because I have a new video coming out every week. Thanks again and I'll see you again next week. Bye.